NVIDIA and Siemens creating an industrial metaverse to predict the future. Siemens and NVIDIA don't want manufacturers to imagine what the future will hold. They want to build a fancy digital twin with the Omniverse that helps them to make predictions about whatever comes next. During a press conference this week, the CEO of Siemens painted a picture of a future in which manufacturers are besieged with productivity, labor, and supply chain disruptions. He said, the answer to all of these challenges is technology and digitalization. The point is, we have to make the digital twin as realistic as possible and bring it as close as possible to the real world. Making digital representations of complex physical systems more accessible to customers of all sizes was the subject of Siemens and NVIDIA's latest partnership, which they called the Industrial Metaverse. The Industrial Metaverse is an immersive, real-time digital twin. It's photorealistic, but at the same time physics-based. This means the twin is not only showing how it looks in real time, but also how it behaves in the real world. It's not about animation, it's about simulation. When they're designing a product, plan, or process, they want to predict whether it's going to be effective or not. The ability to predict the future is possible in many areas of a design. By running a digital twin concurrently with Omniverse alongside a physical manufacturing plant, customers can establish a baseline that helps them to predict future performance. What happens in the physical world will be predicted in the virtual world, and what happens in the virtual world will absolutely happen in the physical world. As a result, this virtual model can be used for optimizations, design changes, future iterations, and predictive maintenance because you believe in it. Within 10 years, Huang believes the technology will enable manufacturers to design, simulate, and operate new plants or manufacturing facilities before they ever break ground. As you might expect, creating a digital twin with Omniverse requires a lot of data from connected devices all communicating in a common language. That's where Siemens Accelerator announced this week comes in. The as-a-service offering is built as an open, curated marketplace for operational technology software and hardware built around a common set of APIs. In order to create a digital twin, you have to fuse the mechanical materials, electronics, computer software, planning, and ERP systems in a virtual plant. NVIDIA and Siemens are standardizing on the Pixar-developed universal scene description. All of this data can then be fed into NVIDIA's Omniverse digital twinning platform to create photorealistic simulations of complex systems ranging from factory floors to the inner workings of an integrated circuit. In addition to building out a compatible software and hardware ecosystem, Siemens Accelerator also aims to lower the barrier to adoption. The basic idea of Siemens Accelerator is to make it accessible for large companies and for small companies. This is the reason why Siemens is pushing so hard for a hardware-as-a-service model. Siemens insisted that the company's best interest is to make it accessible to even the smallest of manufacturers. They also suggested that they might see some freemium offerings in the future as Siemens looks to scale up the platform. What's more is that customers who have already deployed the firm's NX or Technomatics platforms could get a taste of the so-called industrial metaverse sooner rather than later. The CEO of NVIDIA said, if you're using any of these tools, you've already started down the journey of going into the industrial metaverse. New Meta Artificial Intelligence Model Translates 200 Languages To help people connect better today and be part of the metaverse of tomorrow, AI researchers at Meta created No Language Left Behind, or NLLB, which is an effort to develop high-quality machine translation capabilities for most of the world's languages. They've announced an important breakthrough in NLLB, which is a single artificial intelligence model called the NLLB 200, which translates 200 different languages with results far more accurate than what previous technology could accomplish. When comparing the quality of translations to previous AI research, NLLB 200 scored an average of 44% higher. For some African and Indian-based languages, NLLB 200's translations were more than 70% more accurate. To best evaluate and improve NLLB 200, they built Floors 200, a dataset that enables researchers to assess the AI model's performance in 40,000 different language directions. Floors 200 allows them to measure NLLB 200's performance in each language to confirm that the translations are high quality. To help other researchers improve their translation tools and build on their work, Meta is opening the NLLB 200 models and Floors 200 datasets to developers, in addition to their model training code and code for recreating the training dataset. A handful of languages, including English, Mandarin, Spanish, and Arabic, dominate the web. Native speakers of the very widely spoken languages may take for granted how meaningful it is to read something in their own mother tongue. The NLLB 200 model will help more people read things in their preferred language, rather than always requiring an intermediary language that often gets the sentiment or content wrong. This work can also help advance other technologies, like building assistants that work well in languages such as Javanese and Uzbek, or creating systems to take Bollywood movies and add accurate subtitles in Swahili or Oromo. Meta's aim for NLLB 200 is to use it in the metaverse in order to bridge the gap between speakers of different languages.